I don't want to restart the console because it's probably going to mess up, so we'll just start here, I guess. This is going to be such a awkward playthrough. <laughs> um, yeah. Three years ago, Cortex was still in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, um, hi, Quish Crash Twin Sunny. Uh, <laughs> let's just go. Um, so, uh, yeah, these guys are here as well. Yeah, this Great is gonna intro, be, Harry. This is going to be very disjointed. Um, because my PS2, like, barely works anymore. So, I'm terrified- I'm going to be terrified throughout this whole playthrough, like, expecting it to just die on, its on itself. So, hopefully we don't have that happening. <laughs> Is this the first game to use the, the term voice cast? Um, yes. Oh, what? Good start. Oh, okay. It froze for a second. Yeah, I saw that. I thought my gate. This... Oh my god. <laughs> we're, we're in for a trip, ladies and gentlemen. Define current voice cast because. Some of these actors just aren't around anymore. Mm. Uh, the modern voice casts, like, I guess. Yeah, the guy Again, who's, um... like, Jess Harnell doesn't voice Crash anymore. And he wasn't in this game. My duty is to protect well, I mean, I guess, well, I know Lex Lang is, uh, the, this should be his debut as Cortex, at least. Yes, the, um, that, this is his first game, and this is Mel Winkler's last, Mel Winkler's last game is Aku Aku. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I think can't even say it's really the modern cast anymore because I think Lex Lang's the only one who's still doing the voice officially. Well, if we, if we want to go by like, um, at, what you call this? Like, yeah. what? What term would you call this then? Like uh, the not Dreamcast era? <laughs> it's just the. Uh, I don't know, the 6th gen era of Crash, like... I guess. His, Lex Lang's the only VA who's still officially doing stuff in the mainline games, because... Debbie Derry... I mean, mm. Derry Berry isn't Coco anymore. Oh yeah, they got a new voice for Coco in Crash 4, didn't they? Yeah, it's uh, Eden Regal. Mm. Oh, Eden does it now. Yeah, you can de I you can definitely tell with the voice delivery that it's a different, like voice for Coco. Oh, right. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to the voices when I was playing Crash 4. <laughs> I, I didn't know- I don't know why we're talking about Crash 4 here, but, <laughs> um... Because voice acting. Crash this is, like, um, this is the original Crash 5. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, the second game- the second game made- this is the second game made by uh, Traveler's Tales, right? Yep. I don't know if it's- yes. I don't know if it's the same team, but it is Traveler's different Tales. Di different division, this- uh, Raph of Cortex was the Nutsford division. This is Oxford Studio. Oxford Studio, their first and only game, as far as I know. Right. I don't know what else Oxford Studio has done, but nothing. This was <laughs> really this is the first and only game. Like you, like you said, first and only. <laughs> wow, that's sad. They were meant to be the Crash team, and they, just, they were basically just, I guess, absorbed back into the main part of Traveler's Tales. Hmm. It's a shame, like, the... God. The the fact that, like, team... Uh, Crash teams had to make games, like, every year did not... Or, or what have you, did not do this series any favors, because... As we'll find Spyro out... Spyro didn't have any better, a, 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 better either. <laughs> yeah, Spyro had it just as bad, um, as we see clearly in the last playthrough we did. Um, <laughs> but yeah... As we'll see and probably discuss throughout the game, um, this game got horribly rushed. There's a lot of just missing content. There's like this game is very buggy. Um, it's not very e it's not very hard to just break the whole thing. And I've seen like I think for speedrunners you can beat this game in like 15 minutes if you know what you're doing. Um, that said, yeah, that said, even then this game is still a 
fine enough game in its own right. <laughs> I really do like this game, and we'll obviously we'll see more of that as we get through here, but the issue with it is mainly the fact that it's unfinished. It's not really the game itself's fault. Um, but like, I mean, there are yeah. a couple of, like, things that, because, like, for, for, for here's something funny I learned. Apparently, like, uh, you know how you can't, uh, if, it, if um, Harry ever dies at one point before a cutscene, or after a cutscene, and he gets, doesn't get to a checkpoint, it's gonna have to play the whole cutscene, he can't skip it. Apparently, um, that's because of a, because of a bug. <laughs> yeah. So they tried to fix, they tried, but they tried to make it so you could skip cutscenes, but apparently they kept crashing the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's also the fact that, like, even after you kill certain bosses, um, their hitbox is still, the still active. <laughs> yeah, so uh, even if you even after you defeat a boss, don't run into them because you'll have sad times. So yeah, um, quite a mess. <laughs> and it's also probably one of the most fun tutorials, just because it's make it's because it's kind of silly. <laughs> yeah, I should also mention this as well because um, as you've noticed already, like this, the design. For this game is a lot different from the other ones in the sense that it's actually like open world well maybe not like super open world but like there's more it's open a, spaces not that a, it's not a hallway platformer anymore yeah this is like the design uh i guess would be more uh akin to like spyro than a crash game i guess for lack of a um comparison because yeah you get these open areas and you're main you're mainly going to be finding like gems around because those work completely differently now you don't get them from breaking boxes anymore or doing special routes or anything like that um they're just kind of lying around the world that you need to find and they unlock special concept art uh vi like videos and all, all kinds of that stuff um and Given the nature of this game, I'm not gonna fret too much about going for 100%. I'll get... nice. Yeah, that's gonna happen, folks. I don't know what, what I can do about this, to be honest. So, uh, I wonder what, like, bus for... I cannot speak. I wonder what bus more consistently, will bus more, like, frequently the game, or my mic, or rather my internet connection. <laughs> or <on> mine. <laughs> this is gonna be, like, the, the worst. This is the place Andy on YouTube, probably. Yeah, like... <laughs> at, least it, at, least it makes good, at least it makes for funny commentary. <laughs> This wouldn't be an issue if they just re-released this game. God. Well, I mean, like, uh, hmm. I don't know. I guess we're gonna go. I guess that's while we have we have a moment to talk to each other in this peaceful moment. Oh gosh, <laughs> talking about humans. <laughs> you have to call. <laughs> this is gonna be such a mess of a playthrough. you back. <laughs> Anyways, uh, something. By the way, remember those nitro crates we saw earlier, folks? Um, they work differently in this game. <laughs> yeah. Um, they instantly kill you no matter what. Yeah, Akiraku sucks in this game. Uh. He doesn't- when you turn in invincible, it doesn't actually, like, hurt enemies, and uh, I- I don't think it protects you from nitros. Nope. Lovely. Excuse me. Did should we just take- are you sure you should just take the disc out? God, this is dumb. Well, let's see if this works, folks. I just hope you have autosave, like, enabled at all times, Harry. Unless that- unless the game crashes while it's autosaving, then that might be an issue. Don't give me a- don't- don't make me think about that. I mean, it shouldn't- when it does the disc thing, it shouldn't, like- do that. Like it should. As soon as it gets back in, it should just go back to where we were. Really, should we get this thing refurbished? <laughs> God. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, Harry. Maybe you can see if somebody can get it refurbished. Like I said. I don't know anyone that can do that. <laughs> well, I mean, if I could give it to my, in my, in my, 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 I mean, my sister's my boyfriend actually managed to fix my GameCube. Hmm. There's only like one fan need to be replaced, but hey. Oh God. Well, join us next time for um, Spyro 5. I mean, at least that game isn't, like, totally buggy. As far as I know, I haven't played Heroes Tale. <laughs> I, bar I barely know anything about that game. I watched all the cutscenes a long time ago, um, and, like, that's it. <laughs> oh, I know. The only thing I know is that all the cutscenes are done, actually, are, like, properly, like, animated. I know Spyro has a different voice. Yeah, it's Jess Arnell who would go on to voice Crash. Yeah, he doesn't really... I'm not sure how to feel about his uh, Spyro. It's kind of weird. I don't think it's working, Harry. Give it a bit. Two hours later. Come on, everybody, acapella with me. No. Where's your soul? Where's your, where's your, where's your... 
Where's your love of music? I hate recording old consoles. That's that, that's that, people. The reason why we're not trying to emulate this is because apparently it's actually kind of hard to emulate this game. I apparently I didn't actually know that. That sounds about right. Uh, to provide some context for everyone, yeah, um, Harry mentioned this game was rushed, not entirely because of Universal, but I think that's Oxford Studio had tried to go for a more ambitious game at a certain point. Like the original plot of this, or the original plan for this game was to be called the concept of this game was to be called Crash Bandicoot Evolution. I think it was meant to be like a a universal, and I mean universal in the literal sense, like galaxy is going to space. Edgy. <laughs> It was meant to be a universal adventure where Crash would try to like hop on pop through plants and meet like an alien companion. Hmm. And I think they, I think Octo Studio switched gears because they, because Ratchet and Clank released basically and they realized that their concepts were kind of similar. Hmm. Like, oh, right. It's like, oh, we try this, we're not going to do well. Well, we're, uh, we're all going to be, um, uh, like, people are going to call, call us plagiarists or something. Say, like, uh, uh, is plagiarism not released around the same time? Hmm? Well, plagiarism not released around the same time. Only someone was deliberately copying. There we, copying there we go. Just... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. There there right. Right. Just, just oh. a coincidence for their case, as far as we know. And Man. I think at some point, Oxford Studio, lived... yeah, at some point, Oxford Studio just kind of lost, like a lot of their, where well, they lose a lot of their code. They basically had to start over halfway through. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, save. Come on, follow me, Crash. Stay close and do what I do. Huh, who knew, like, who knew, man, I didn't know, that, man. Okay, Coco's pretty good at the tutorial stuff. <laughs> for the most part, this game kind of just speaks for itself. <laughs> you surprised? And then, although in serious, he's surprisingly acrobatic for what he is. Yeah. Compared to how he actually plays in Twin Sanity, yeah. Yeah, because you can't actually... a oh, spoiler alert, I guess, but... Like, when you actually play as Cortex, you can't actually do a lot of this stuff. And yeah, obviously, it's pretty, pretty obvious from how Harry's playing, but... Hold on. All too easy. Yeah. What are you saying? Obviously from how Harry's playing, but yeah, um Crash basically has his he has his basically his whole kit from entranced. Right. Well I mean He doesn't well he doesn't have like the super slide or the rocket jump, but yeah. Okay, he has his whole starter, his whole starter move set from Entrance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you have the double jump, and you basically have the super belly flop from Crash Free, um, but like you don't ha ever get the Death Tornado spin or the Bazooka or the dash or anything. So this is gonna be your move set for the whole game. You got the fundamentals, and you work, you work with them. <laughs> yeah. I've always been kind of iffy on the bazooka because I always feel like it's a little bit cheap to just kind of uh, break the game, basically. I, ca I kind of prefer just going through obstacles through my own, like, platforming uh, prowess, if you will. If it's more engaging that way anyway, I think. I mean, how long do you want to do it? That's why it's mostly how long you move. move. Hey, how long do you want to do it before the game doesn't like us anymore? <laughs> I'm trying not to think about that. Wait, what would you say, Scrappy? That's just why the bazooka is a largely optional move. Right. <clears throat> um. Yeah. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Well, do we have a backup LP in mind? I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, we, like, we could just move on to whatever comes off, whatever we're doing after this, but like, I don't want to have to, like, skip this. I don't want to ban this game either, but... Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, the only thing to think of is get FPS2 refurbished. I mean, I guess it depends on how much I can do that for. Or hear me out. Activision actually releases the PS2 Crash games. That would, that would be nice. The other thing that would be nice if, 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 would be if Twin Sanity had a GameCube version, because then I could easily just do that one. Yeah, but it was only on, a, it was only on PS2 and Xbox. Yeah, like, it was supposed to get a GameCube port, but, it, like, they had issues finishing the game already. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. Unintentional karma for Ender Dragon by skipping the Xbox, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny to think that way. Yeah, it's, it's totally equal. <laughs> Um, what are oh. well, we gonna be spending more time looking at this screen than playing the actual game? Oh, oh! oh. Go, Harry! Go, go, Harry! Go! Did you grab a gen that was up there? I don't remember, did I? Well, let's find out. Also, there's no music. 
the game bugged already? Wait, how do I? Oh, I need to go this way. The acapella singers well, got bored. <laughs> they got <laughs> sick of it. <laughs> sick of being actually, that's a good time. I guess that's a, I guess that's a good segue to explain the music is done by a uh, acapella group. Uh, was it Spiral Mouth? Yeah. Spiral Mouth. Yep. And and the thing is, the music is probably one of the best things about this game. When you can hear it. Yeah. Oh god, I better not do this when we hit the iceberg glare, because that's the one of the best things. This is kind of unnerving. Are you just waiting for, like, a monster to come out and eat Crash alive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... This is so cursed. Oh my god. I think I we might know. have to abandon this project, it's great. Huh? Ah. Wait, what'd you say? Why do the, um, like, the one-up crates not actually, like, make the classic sound of the checkpoints do? It's I don't true. Know. Blondes do have more fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, uh, so, instances of cut content, there, there originally was going to be, like, a pathway to the left here that would go to, like, an underground, like, cavern section. That would be, like a chase or something like that, and apparently they cut it out because it was just too hard, <laughs> which is funny. Uh-huh. Well... Just... Yeah, Rusty the Walrus is easy. Yeah, no, I- yeah. <laughs> Good, I didn't need to do that. Um... Oh gosh, did I see Crash's arm, like, just fall- Yay! Yeah, I forgot. Crash's death animations are kind of brutal in this game. Yeah. I mean- Hey, our music's back. We can't skip this, by the way, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah, you are extremely frail in this game. I just want to point that that out now. Honestly. Did the music die again? Blondes hmm? do have more fun. Wait, what? But, okay, I thought the music died again. No. Yeah, I like how dying fixed it. Nice, I'll undo that. I do like the UI for this game. Like, I, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but it's very unique. Oh gosh, I hate these kind of puzzles. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Especially after playing Crash 4, where hitting, where just hitting them from below could kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wanna? Oh, you wanna... I see that. Yeah, Mine. There's no fall damage, but Crash will kind of like stumble a bit when he falls from a great height. Um, I think it kind of. I think if it is too high, it will kill him. Yeah, I was gonna say, mo for the most part, um, if you fall from a, from a great height, you usually just have Crash like fall on his backside. But if you do fall way too high, you will just die. So that's uh, <laughs> something to look out for. Yeah, j just in general though, I do like the look of this game, especially compared to Wrathful Cortex, which we've said a lot how it looks very washed out and not great, honestly. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but compared to the trilogy um, and all that, like, it just kind of looks flat. Uh, uh, Wait. I'm okay. The spikes broke my fall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I do like the style this game goes for. Hey Harry, the game told you not to do that. <laughs> the game said crawl! <laughs> <laughs> you broke the system. I mean, the system's been oh, breaking okay. for the last ten minutes. Okay. So you're gonna break in the oh. system. Yeah, you! I've been doing this for ten stinking years! Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of it! Well, I'm not gonna do it no more! I can walk past him, but... LOL. You don't actually have to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, first boss. Yep, and we're already fighting Cortex. We're at the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, I, I, know, I know you told me it was short, but still. <laughs> Even with all those uh, disc errors. Three years I spent alone in the frozen Antarctic wastes. 
alone. You had Ukuka. <laughs> and so I he doesn't count apparently. A little gathering, like a birthday party, except the exact opposite. And look, all of your friends are here. I crunch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just his direct model Let's taken from Rafa Cortex. Look at Koala Kong! <laughs> yeah! Oh man. Freaking Polar all who gets me. Yeah. Apparently Ripperoo wasn't invited. Not Ripperoo, Rillaroo wasn't invited. <laughs> I mean, uh, the can. No. Ca the what? Crash batches. Place in continuity has always been kind of nebulous. Yeah, I was gonna say the can canon canon that word uh, canonicity or whatever um, of Crash Bash is like kind of iffy. I mean, they're gonna have I mean they're gonna have entrance in this game and those vicarious vision stuff all was kind of dubious, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was always like kind of like wishy washy where like the GBA games would have taken place, or especially the racing games, like, um, the, the, the main platformers have, like, a loose continuity for, for the most part. Ow. Depending on how much muscle memory you have, this might, this fight might be harder than the actual final Cortex boss in Crash 1. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the actual hard part. I can, I can see that. Yeah, the the bosses in this game, I will say, are like kind of hit and miss. Some of them are really good. Um, other other ones are not the best. <laughs> so the crash game, kinda. Initiate missile attack. Okay, just pay attention to what he's doing. He's this ain't that bad. Yeah, this is like a... I won't call it a rehash, but it is similar to like engine, Engine's Fight and Crash 2. It's uh, on brand for him, so it works. This is gonna take a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of takes a little bit. It's a lot of health. <laughs> yeah. Although, as you destroy the limbs, it, he only does one thing, so... <laughs> yeah. Pretty exciting way to start the game, though. Yeah, then you should just be standing with the beam thing now. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell from um, just the boss gathering, the Aqua Studio people were crash nerds. <laughs> they... Yeah, they tried to mess up with your timing at the end, but it's fine. But, is it, but are they as dedicated? But are they as big nerds as the vicarious vision, or as sorry as the Beanox team was? <laughs> oh, yeah, they had like. Deep cut references in Nitro Fuel. I mean, I'm sure if they got more time, they could have done so. I, I mean, there, there's also the Crash on the Run guys that have like, uh, what is it? The like really obscure characters in that. Oh, they're hugging. <laughs> so yeah, this this game, I guess, I, like. a happy couple. Yeah. This, I get, this game has, like, uh, it, it does, like, the vehicle segment for Crash in a different way. It basically makes you play... This game basically plays like you're playing a Looney Tunes cartoon. Because you have a basically. bunch of... You have stuff like this happening a lot, which is, again, pretty much what would be, like, a vehicle segment in another Crash game. But it's just, like, a Looney Tunes-esque scenario, which I think is <laughs> very fun. They would have made a great Ooh. Looney Tunes game, honestly. Yep. Oh yeah, if you okay. stop, if you like, just kind of pause their brawl, they oh, will he, have special animations. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see what they do. Yeah. You gotta roll them, or okay, no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> uh, I was hoping we get to that one pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Oh, <laughs> so that's enough of that. Well, they have more. Like, I think there's one like worth the way around with the strangling. <laughs> yeah. So I guess the um, they really like the uh, rolling ball gimmick from Rafa Cortex because it's basically a um, a version of that more or less. And I mean, that was like probably like 
that game's like best uh, new vehicle, so it makes sense. Ugh. Oh gosh, you can see Cortex's teeth. Yeah. No, those are, no, those are just, no, they're just, those are just jack teeth. <laughs> yeah, some like some fake teeth he had in his pocket. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that fake, and that spleen that's on the ground is fake too. <laughs> yeah. They did die just vanish. Fake hair, fake everything. Yeah, I will say this as well. Oh, oh my oh god. god. Okay. That's not supposed to happen. You mean felt falling through the, the, the environment? Yeah. I'm going this way this time. I don't think the gems keep though, do they? No, they do. I, I think. I'm pretty sure they do. I should uh, stress this as well. I honestly, I do honestly think this is one of the harder crash games. Um, so I'm. I might be dying a fair bit. Yeah, um, I played this at a friend's house like 10 years ago. Um, yeah, I died a lot on this uh, segment. Harry sent me the PS2 version actually, and I need to I, I play a little bit more of it, and my PS2 was a little port. <laughs> it can't be any worse than mine right now. <laughs> oh, but there was another one. Yeah. No, mine's better. <laughs> yeah, I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Crash still strangling Cortex. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Good. Alright. Okay, there's a thing over here. I just lies. Alright. Schmuck bait. Ugh. Oh my gosh, it's dead. I think, um, you can still spin Wumper Fruit away, but I think you. Like, if you try sp okay, no, 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 no. Um, if you try spinning near a life, it actually extends your hitbox to grab lives, which is handy. It's like the only game I can think of that actually does that. And you also have all, like, stuff Brady. like this, stuff like this that, um, <laughs> it's like, you can, you can get that if you're greedy, but you're probably gonna die. There's a lot of stuff like that in this game. I don't recall this segment being as long as it is. It does go on for a fair bit. Maybe it can help me die twice. Ugh, and you get stuff like this. Oh god. I think I fell off this when I played. Yeah. So, um, hi everyone, welcome to our Super Monkey Ball playthrough on Scrappy Fan 92. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was. Oh, do that channel, that'd be funny. I, I already. <laughs> No, I did bundle. What is next time when Pratt, what, when Harry will play Banana Blitz HD? No. Oh yeah, we should play the original Banana Blitz Harry. I'm sure you'd love that so much more. I've already done that, and I hated it. No gem for you. It doesn't matter. It's fine. We're, again, we're just gonna get as uh, as much stuff as we can. We're not going for everything. Of Why did this exist? Yeah, yeah, like, so, like in what was it in Crash Three? They they said deliberately like there's no power source left on the planet, and then there's still crystals lying around. Like what? <laughs> I don't understand the deal with that. Yeah. Like unless uh, these are just the crystals that um, are from the different times in Crash Three, and they're just lying around in our time, like this. The present time now, or I don't know. Oh, I never noticed they're actually collecting the crates. Oh, huh. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> okay. Just <He's> die. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, I love the this bit. Crystal is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Keep back, you weak-minded fool! Avert your gaze, or you'll go crystal crazy. Yeah. I don't think he. he... <laughs> if he just stands still, he just stands there calmly. <laughs> yeah. Your jump sucks when you have cortex on you, though. Well, you're, it's like you're dragging somebody. Yeah. 
Yeah, you probably know Crash does not like have any voice at all in this game. Yeah, not even like a whoa, like just complete silent. I don't know, like, say pancakes in the uh, uh, next game or like the next like main game. Yeah, make sure to um, like toss Cortex when you get a chance while you're spinning. Oh, like this? <laughs> Throw me over there. Yeah. Trust me. We're pals, right? Nice. Tell me you didn't put our best. Uh oh. What? Uh oh no. You killed him. <laughs> what the hell? I think you. I think you. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty oh, good, though. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose. I swear. <laughs> I guess I made you break it too early, sorry. <laughs> I didn't even spin! I could do this again. Yeah, the um... With these um, like, an enemies or whatever, um... The original, like, villain for the game was supposed to be like... A giant version of these guys, and you can actually see it in uh, a concept art that one of the gems gives you. But that got like completely removed, so it's only, you only see the underlings. Yes, the crystal is mine. I'm bad. Sorry, I, had to, I was getting dinner. I see. I had to also get dinner. <laughs> I mean, you make fries and fool, avert your gaze, or you'll go crystal crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's just get a move on. This old crazy sounds like a mini game in Crash Bash. Yeah. Alright, don't throw him. Now throw him? There we go. <laughs> so that's so it's kind of funny when, you, when you're doing this and it's like, throw me over there. Yeah, he's just. <laughs> Yeah. And s somehow he can just warp like that, I guess. Give me time, Lord. Yeah. I mean, if you get done this, why didn't you do this once you got a crystal? Yeah. Ugh. Oh, God. Well, you had half block really. And then we uh, go back into crawling. <laughs> and the and the and the crystal just vanishes too. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's actually in the inventory. Surprise! There wasn't like an idle animation of like Crash smacking Cortex in space with a crystal. That'd be pretty good. Seriously, when they hit Nitro Crate, they blow up like Lego minifigures. <laughs> God damn it! Kind of disturbing. Yeah, they. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you hear the Yoda death right now? Ugh. <laughs> uh, the best. Oh my god! Lego I can death. barely see some of them. It looks like you rolled through it for a second. Yeah. Yeah, they did roll through it, and then Crash was like, "Oh, I have to die." Yeah, like um. It's not in like uh, the the other games where like if you were uh, activate an explosion but you're like out of the vicinity, um, like you'll survive. Like it, <laughs> if you activate the nitro at all, you'll just kind of die. Okay. <laughs> that was a, that was kind of abrupt. I guess at this point, I just like they need to get out of somehow. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting an early demonstration of just kind of the whole gimmick of this game. Yeah. Like, Where, yeah, whole... Crash, yeah, the whole selling point of this game is the fact that Crash and Cortex are working together. Yeah. And yeah, not very willingly. Yeah. The game basically exists just to punish Cortex for like the prior four games of him messing with the player. Oh no, but this is to oh, totally is just like a this game is just one big flash of the team. Yeah, I, it's not just me, but like the fl I can barely see the floor. The floor. The floor no, I, is just I, a 
Yeah, I can barely see him. Oh. oh, you mean like the stuff you're actually walking on? Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah. dark. Yeah, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's supposed to be that dark. I have no idea. This good. This could use one of those um, digital restoration kind of remasters. Yeah. We could walk up with the guy to help. You do need to hit all, all these crit. Oh, good. Oh, I'm screwed. Ah! Yeah. You do need to hit all the crystals because it's it like causes rubble to come down and like stop the drill for a while. Um, because if you don't do that, you're not gonna be fast enough. So. Good. It, yeah, this game <laughs> starts off pretty intense, I'll, I'll say. Like, we just started the game and it's already putting us into stuff like this. Damn it. Come back down. Lovely. Meanwhile, man, we're losing about as many lives as I would have lost in probably one little in Crash 4. <laughs> yeah. Look at what, people. I think Crash 4, like, a couple of weeks, about a few weeks ago. Yep. First time finishing the uh, game. Yeah. Can't wait for Harry to start playing this game. <laughs> uh, that will be. That might not be for a while. <laughs> I do have a lot to say about that game, though. Maybe I should give it a try down the line. I would recommend well, play just doing a uh, casual run and just not caring about 100%. I, I mean, I more I ostensibly did that when I first got it, but Crash, you good? <laughs> Crash is just uh, doing his exercise. What was I gonna say? I I was I was fortunate enough to play it on the PS5 version, so I don't have so I didn't have to deal with it long. <laughs> you also played it when it got a, like, like a patch, so um, from what I understand, they fixed uh, Polar's hitbox um, at least a little bit, from what I understand. Oh no, I think I got both of the bonus guns. Oh. What was I gonna say? <laughs> this, level, this level of. Yeah! I, not speak. I was hoping I would get this. <laughs> oh, I lost it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Um, like Crash we were the one click we were hoping that would happen in Fire <laughs> Yeah, like sometimes Crash will just not have animations. <laughs> well, I have animations. He just won't. He, he, he just won't um, uh, move properly. Yeah. Can you put final animation? Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have a. When you're over like boxes and stuff, there's no drop shadow. So trying to like aim yourself is not easy sometimes. So, how, by the way, how far do you want to go? Uh, we can just keep going until uh, we... I, I don't have a definitive stop point, so... <laughs> Ooh, feels... Oh, hey, look at the worst parts of the game. <laughs> mm. the evil twins don't really do that much of an impression, to be honest. Uh, I feel like that's, a, that's more of a case of the game being rushed, honestly. I know, but still, they, they, we get, we're just judging based on what we have. I, I guess, but I, I mean, I do hear a lot about how, like, the evil twins are like nothing villains, and I mean, it's a case, I think it's a, just a, a case of not having enough time to develop what they're even doing. Because I do, re I do like the, the characters as, as a concept. Mm. Apparently, Beanhawk didn't like them enough to put them in, in, um, uh, <laughs> in nitro, yeah, I, I, I don't like that. I, I, I wish they were in nitro field. I mean, I'm glad we're the characters we did get at least. Mm. <laughs> and now we're just back. 